What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. She's um, been a wee while since I've been down the South Island and I've been up to all kinds of stuff. Heaps of different things have happened since I've um, been back and I've just been useless, haven't really put any content or videos together to share with you guys but yeah, definitely I've been doing a heap of filming and all kinds of stuff but yeah, anyway, my bro's back. The old brother Benny boy's back from Australia. Here he is. He's uh he's uh, got onto this Fortnite. He's just set his S Xbox up. X X X Xbox. Fortnite seems to be the craze at the moment. Fortnite. I don't know anything about it, but there it is. There he is. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool to have the bro back. But uh, yeah, in this vid, I pretty much just wanted to low key touch base on a couple of things. Give you guys a bit of an update. What's been happening. And also, uh, what else I want to do? There's a subject I wanted to bring up that people keep asking me. Where can I go hunting? Can you put me in the right direction? Where's the access points? Can you tell me about spots? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have a bit of a rant about that in this video as well. But this is what it is. This is something else I'll show you guys while I'm yarning away. So this is something... Uh, a fencing masterpiece we made the other day so what we have is a bit of uh, an old tortura baton and I've, uh, I've put on a bit of barbed wire up the top and just different fencing knots sanded all this down and then yeah put some baton staples on there to hold on those knots bit of a fencing masterpiece here so yeah if anyone's uh, interested in uh, this kind of masterpiece in their uh, living room or somewhere around their property you know yeah just get a hold of me and i'll be able to make one for you hundred bucks <laughs> hundred bucks for that yeah so this subject i wanted to bring up is about guys getting in touch with me you know messaging me on facebook and wanting to know about hunting spots or access points in the ruahenis and you know, wanting a bit of information on where to go. Okay, that's cool, you know, usually the messages will start off like, hey bro, I love your videos, you do such a good job, I'm a big fan, and I really appreciate it, that's cool guys. Um, but, you know, when it comes to hunting spots and locations and access points, you know, it's not, there's not information I really want to be just like, blaring out to every, you know, man and his dog because for me as a hunter growing up, I, you know, I, you know, there's a saying, I'm going to just, you know, I earned and learned it. Dad started taking me hunting when I was about eight years old, if not younger, might have been tramping in that. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't see my first wild deer. I started hunting when I was eight with the old man. He'd take me up on mean missions. We'd go all around the Ruahenis trying to find deer. And I didn't see my first deer till I was 14 years old. So you're looking at six years of marching around following my old man, not even seeing a proper wild deer. So that was, you know, that that that, that trained me up as a young man to, you know, you can't, you don't want to be going up the bush and just just making it easy. I didn't shoot my first deer till I was 18 years old. You know, got my gun license when I was about just turned 17. And then I didn't get to get my first wild deer until I was 18. So you're looking at 10 years of like hunting in the bush and you know following my old man around trying to find deer for 10 years, man. So that's that that's that's the way I was brought up. So you gotta earn your animals, eh? You gotta you gotta learn your country, you gotta learn the areas, you gotta learn spots. I spent so much time, you know, reading magazines and researching information. I you know, I read maps, I used to read maps, you know, like, you know, the paper maps. And then once you know, I found out about Google Maps and that, you know, I used to research all that, look for spots, look for clearings, look for all that, you know. So it's it's a part of your hunting journey, or well, for me it is, you know, to, um, you got to work for it, you know. Like, just can't go up there and just get told where to go and then, oh, bro, go here, go there. And then, like, it's more, it means more than just that, eh? Um, you gotta earn it, you gotta earn it. And there's an old saying with the old fellas, you know, um, the hunter's code of silence. 
the old hunter's code of silence. I'm already taking a massive risk, like putting myself out on the internet and YouTube and like showing you guys huts or spots I'm going to. Well, it's like anyone, anyone that puts up videos of hunting, you know, you, some guys will try to be low key, some guys will just be exactly like straight up exactly where they are. But there's something about being a hunter that you you want to try to be a bit more low key, you know, you don't let on, you don't let on every like single bit of information of where you're going and how many deer you saw, like, that's just a part of being a hunter and a part of the hunting journey, you be a bit more low key, eh? Suppose to sum this one up guys, with a couple of sayings would be, learn it and earn it, you know, do the mahi, get the treats, pretty self explanatory really, yeah. Can't you, this hunting does just not come easy, eh? If, especially if you're hunting on public land, you gotta go out there and do the work. You gotta, you know, put in that hard graft and, uh, yeah, just do it. Just get out there and give it a go and learn from your own experiences, right? You know, that's what I've done. I haven't really asked too much information from others, just gone out there and tried and learned from my mistakes and my experiences. So I hope that sort of uh, summed that subject up, okay? <laughs> Catch you guys up. See you later.